I would like to welcome you the playlist of basic electrical engineering. In this video, I am going to discuss analysis of AC circuit with the RL series circuit. Before starting the session, I request everyone to subscribe my channel and share the video content with your friends and colleagues. What do we mean by RL series circuit? You know, the resistance and uh, inductor both are connected in series then we can able to call it a series RC circuit. The unit of resistance that is ohms and the unit of inductor that is expressed in terms of Henry. The combined resistor and inductor circuit forms RL series circuit. When an AC supply voltage V is supplied, the same current I flows in the circuit. Please consider the circuit given below. We are having two elements. R and L which are connected in series, the same LM, same current flows through both R and L. The RMS voltage across resistor that is represented by the letter VR and the RMS voltage across the inductor that is represented by the letter VL. If you apply the KVL, the total voltage we can able to write it as the sum of RMS voltage across resistor and the sum of RMS voltage across inductor. V is nothing but VR plus VL. The applied voltage that is given by V is equal to Vm sin omega t where the V is represented the instantaneous voltage and the Vm is the maximum voltage and the omega is the angular frequency. The sinusoidal voltage V is applied over here. So these are the basic information. Now how to draw the phasor diagram? How to represent RL circuit in a phasor? That is very important. First in the foremost, it is better to take current as a reference quantity because same current flows through both resistor and the inductor. Now you need to calculate what is the total voltage across resistor. The total voltage across resistor is nothing but I into R. You can apply the Ohm's law. That is the second point. Therefore, in case of resistor circuit, you know both the current and the voltage across the resistor both are in the same phase in the sense there is no phase difference the phase difference between voltage and current is equal to zero when it comes to inductor the voltage across inductor is given by i into reactance inductive reactance that is the voltage drop across inductor you already uh, studied about what is xl xl is nothing but inductive reactance inductive reactance is nothing but the resistance or the opposition offered by the inductor that is called inductive reactance which is expressed in terms of O. So if I talk about the voltage across inductor, the voltage across inductor leads the current at an angle of 90 degree. Why 90 degree means we consider pure inductor or else you can able to say that current lacks the inductive voltage at an angle of 90 degree. Both the way you can able to represent. So this is your third point through the phasor diagram. The vector sum of two voltages are Vr and Vl. That you have to mention and you have to draw the resultant. Now how to draw the phasor diagram? I will be helping you. First in the foremost, what you are supposed to do? Same current is uh, flowing through the both the elements. That is I. When it comes to resistor, what is the voltage drop across resistor? I into R. You can write Vr. V subscript R. When it comes to the inductor, what is the speciality? Compared to current, what is the position of inductive voltage? You remember that inductive voltage will always uh, lead the current at an angle of 90 degrees. So I should mark like Vl. We follow the same procedure. Afterwards, what I have to do? I have to draw the resultant voltage. The vector sum of these two voltage. This will be the resultant voltage. Then you can complete the parallelogram. Okay, just you can complete. Okay, this you can mark it as Vr. Say, no need to mark. Right? Then angle between the voltage and the current that you can able to mention it as phi. Correct? So you can able to mention in this fashion. You can give the name also OAB. Something like that you can give. So this triangle is very important. So you can draw the triangle separately. So this is the way how to uh, draw that. I already uh, mentioned like this. So VL inductive voltage. VR is nothing but voltage across resistor. And uh, this is your total voltage V. So VR is nothing but I into R. VL is nothing but I into XL. 
then V is nothing but I into Z. So you can able to concentrate this triangle. Okay. So this is your triangle. I require this triangle for the further analysis. Okay. This is your hypotenuse of the triangle and this is the height, height of the triangle. This will be the base. Uh, just like a right angle triangle, so you can able to apply the Pythagoras theorem very easily. You can able to calculate the angle, everything you can do that. So if I concentrate only the triangle, uh, the hypotenuse will be V. V is nothing but the total voltage and VR is the base and VL is the height. And from that you can able to make a impedance triangle also like this. Z, XL and R. So VL is nothing but I into XL, VR is nothing but I into R then V is equal to I into Z. From this you can able to derive impedance triangle. I hope you understood. Now from the triangle, you can able to calculate the total voltage. How to calculate impedance I want to explain. Total voltage is given by square root of VR square plus VL square. So you can apply Pythagoras theorem. VR is nothing but IR. So IR the whole square. VL means I into XL the whole square. Now I, I square. I square you can able to take common then if you take the square root of i square that is nothing but i so i into uh, square root of r square plus xl square therefore i can be separated i is equal to v divided by square root of r square plus xl square where z is known as impedance that is equal to r square plus xl square r square plus xl square kindly note down this whenever we are do doing the problem uh, this equation is very important below that that is called impedance z this is your impedance. What is the unit of impedance? Unit of impedance is ohm only. Correct? That you have to remember. How to calculate the phase angle? So you can apply the trigonometric rule. How to calculate tan phi? So from this triangle you calculate tan phi. Tan phi means opposite side divided by adjacent side. Opposite side will be VL. VL by VR, right? So first tan phi is equal to tan phi is equal to VL by VR. VL by VR. So what is VL? VL is nothing but I into XL, correct? What is VR? I into R. This current will be getting cancelled. The remaining thing will be XL by R. What is XL? L into omega or omega L divided by R. That is nothing but reactance by resistance. So from this you can able to calculate phi. Phi is equal to tan inverse of XL by R. This is the final answer. Next uh, the relation between applied voltage and current. So in this circuit we can able to say that uh, the, vo the voltage vo voltage leads the current at an angle of phi or else current lags current lags by the voltage at an angle of phi. So if voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega t then current can be represented as Im sin omega t minus phi where phi is the phase angle. That is the relation between applied voltage and the current. This point you have to remember. How do you calculate the power? Let voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega t. The current I is equal to Im sin omega t minus phi. Please do multiply both. Power is equal to V into I. Right? Then if you multiply, substitute equation number 1 and 2 in 3. Then if you multiply, you will get like Vm sin omega t into Im sin omega t minus phi. Then uh, you can take like Vm Im by 2. Denominated to numerator also you can put 2 sin omega t minus phi. Like this you can able to mention. You know that sin a sin b is equal to half cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. If you use the relation, you will be able to get like uh, Vm by uh, root 2 Im by root 2 into cos phi minus cos 2 omega t minus phi. You can do the simplification. Now we can uh, split, we can remove the brackets, Vm by root 2, Im by root 2 cos phi minus Vm by root 2, Im by root 2 into cos 2 omega t minus phi. You know that uh, for, if you consider the average value, so you have to consider the average value for individual term. If I consider the average value, the second term becomes 0. This will be 0. Obviously this will be 0. So only the thing is, uh, P is equal to Vrms, Irms cos phi, that is nothing but Vi cos phi. So, this is the ultimate answer. So, Vm, you know, Vm by root 2 means Vrms. Im by root 2 means Irms. Cos phi as it is, where cos phi is known as power factor. P is equal to Vi cos phi. So, that is the ultimate thing. So, you can able to calculate the power factor as well. So, consider the triangle. Cos phi is nothing but Vr by V. That is equal to Ir by Iz. From this, you can able to calculate the power factor. That is equal to R by Z. Therefore, uh, you can able to substitute in the previous equation the total power consumed by the resistor is given by I square into R. You can easily get. Okay. So, you can able to draw the waveform in this fashion. 
so this is your brief